Oh shit. I said I was doing workout the whole time. My heart rate is at 150. And I'm sitting down. Am I okay? Am I having a heart attack? This beer beer is cooked. 150? Maybe I'm just talking really fast. Hey, let me let me calm myself down. One fifty two. One fifty five. I'm not even moving. I guess I'm getting a little bit more stressed. <laughs> So I've changed a few things up this week. Um, I'm making my breakfast bigger and my lunch smaller. I don't have a reason for that. It's just what's happening. I'm gonna see how that goes. Um, so today, so far, I've got plenty of food left left for dinner. I'm excited. Sort of. If I have a healthy dinner, my calories are fine. It's just like you get to night time and you're like, mm, love a big plate of food for dinner. And then you've done it, haven't you? You've got, you've gone over, you've gone over your calories. But what am I aiming for this week? At least under 2,000. Surely I can do that. Um, I was doing 1,800 some days, amazingly. And I'm not sure what's happened. I've just fallen apart the last two weeks, but... Eight weeks is a long time. Go. You're joking me. Two out of two, maybe? Nah, no dice. checking in in the middle of the week who even am I and I don't look like I'm dying for once actually I think I'm like got a large reaction from like my makeup wipes anyway I'm checking in let me see if there's a balance here oh I look like I've been grinding anyway um in case you're wondering yes I'm wearing this jumper again and you're like, oh my god, she's always wearing that jumper. One, it's the best brand in the world. Two, it's cozy as F. And three, I'm a minimalist. So I'm not about fashion and I'm not about having, actually I have about 10 jumpers, but that's probably the only piece of clothing, like the only clothing item that I have at least like like I've got a lot. I mean, if I did have money for clothes, which I don't, but if I did, like if I was gonna be spending money on clothes, it would be supporting brands that I actually care about, like Athlete and maybe like Everford. Oh, actually I bought a package from Everford and it still hasn't come, but I'm not complaining because I know it's a little bit tricky out there, but do you ever like buy things online and then you forget about them and then one day you're like, oh yeah, where is that? How long has it been? Like I did two LeBang orders and the one came and I was like, is this the first order or the second order? Like, and then I was like, what did I even order? It's all good. It's all good. I'm rambling. I just thought I would jump on and check in. A little a little midweek vent it's not even midweek it's thursday Stefan will be home soon so he's probably going to interrupt our chat um 
I'm about to do a sweaty shredder. So week, uh, week, I'm in week nine of the challenge, I know that, but I'm in week six for my ebook workout challenge that I'm doing and week six really steps up. So I was doing like maybe like three workouts and like an activity, whereas now I'm doing like, I've done Monday, a sweaty shredder, Tuesday, Tuesday a like a little tiny like a kind of like a challenge workout like a little one I wasn't feeling it so that was barely nothing Wednesday a toning power which are like longer uh, and Thursday which is today I'm doing another sweaty shredder and then Friday a toning power and then Saturday is like a sprints but i'll i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i haven't got that far so i'm not sure how i'll go definitely feeling less sore than i was at the start of the week which is good most of the time i think how i'm gonna go in something is like how i'm gonna go in the workout is depends on how sore i am and i'm usually always sore which is my own fault but There's never anyone making noise and now all of a sudden they rip out the Kemba and there's like a thousand noises. Anyway, I'm getting tired again. Hello! My heart rate's at 150. I'm sitting here and it's at 150. I think I might be dying. Hope so. Cheekbones now. He looks a little bit full of that protein component just sitting in there. Oh, looks like you're making a trip. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Hello. Notice anything different? That's right, I've got my hair up. <laughs> oh. I'm going to keep moving and talking because. I'm on a time crunch today, so you're coming with me to get stuff done while I talk to you. So, um, it's Friday. You probably know that because it's probably on the screen. Anyway, I'm feeling quite good. I seem to talk to you guys like right after I've had my main meal. So, when I'm actually feeling like amazing. Which is very red. Actually, you know what? That's a lot. Oh my god, sorry about the noise. This week has actually been quite good calorie wise. Exercise, you know. I'm doing the bare minimum, I'm gonna be honest. Which, lucky for me, I planned out my bare minimum is quite a lot. So, all in all, quite good. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, so I'm trying to hurry because I just seem to waste so much time on the weekend, not being as efficient as I should be. So tonight we're going food shopping, um, just to get it out of the way. And then the weekend I plan to like Saturday and Sunday, I plan to get two workouts in, hopefully like morning and night, um, clean, Meal prep, like always, I want to study because me and Stefan are both studying some stuff on our computers at the moment. So I'm going to do that. I've got a few videos to edit. Um, yeah, just a few little random things that I need to do that I literally do not have uh, even a second in the week to do. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to actually have some time. So I'm probably going to go to bed early, wake up early, like really try and keep a good schedule. Um, yeah, I just want to have a good weekend. You know, when some weekends you just like, I don't like 
to be lazy and I don't like to be unproductive because I feel like it just gets my mood down. And then when my mood's down, I don't want to do anything. And it's just like an endless cycle. So I... I just got to keep moving. That's that's as simple as it is. Look at my eyebrows. They're like, they're not bad. They're just, there's a lot. There's a lot of hair. But good news. They're going to be back open in June. I should probably book that in. I've booked in my laser because I tell you what. I'm a hairy monster. Let's hope I don't accidentally get my armpit in because it's grown back. I do not like it. Like, not even fine hair. Like, thick, thick, thick hair. It's not a good time for me. It's not a good time for Stefan. It's just not a good time. So, we need to get the beauty, we need to get the beauty places back open ASAP. But anyway, I'm rambling. This is not why you clicked on the video. You clicked on the video to find out about how I'm going with my challenge. So um, I guess the answer to that is, I mean, my house, it's like either no light or too much light. Food's been good. Too good even. I'm a bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. If I can hit 1,800 calories in a day, that's fucking... If I can hit 1,000 calories, I mean, not 1,000. So yeah, I've had a 1,800 dollar... Uh, 1,800 dollar. If I can hit 1,800 calories a day with no complaints, something's not right. I think I've tracked something wrong. Hmm, maybe my body's just adjusting. Very, very, very unlikely, but. Oh no, we done. We're feeling good. I'm, I'd show you my body right now, but. I'm very bloated. Not in a bad way, not in pain, but I had a kombucha, so maybe like, I've got a lot of liquid in my belly. But it's true, I am very, very hungry all the time. Wow, I look really tired. Should I take my makeup off on the camera so you can see what I really look like? Ooh, ooh. How's it look? <laughs> to check in it's saturday you would have just seen um my lovely beach walk that i did this morning me and stefan decided we would go um go for a walk and have some coffee and you know support local so we did that we ended up talking for ages and we decided right, we just kept walking and talking and we ended up walking for almost two hours we actually got a second coffee on the way came home um and then I made some food. I'll show you here. It was really yum. I had it the other day too. Which is like all these, all my favorite things in one. And now I've just been chilling out. No real plans for the day. Just gonna, we just usually chill out on Saturdays anyway. Go to bed early like normal. Try and be really productive tomorrow. Um, I won't get a proper workout in. We went and play basketball, but um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna take it easy. Feeling very good. This week has been really, really good. So I'm gonna jump on back inside and we are actually watching live stream. Hey guys, sorry, my audio is probably gonna be so bad. I'm back on my walking track that I used to walk on all the time. It feels weird. I have had a 
really really lazy day with Stefan but I think it was needed like I had a really full on week with um, my exercise and my eating it's really really good I've had a really really good week and then now um, I think I just need to chill out for a bit so that's what I did and it was really nice so I'll put my stats up for the week here I'm guessing pretty good I actually haven't checked I think around 2000 hopefully depending on how the rest of today goes but yeah really happy with week nine I know I showed a little um, body update a few weeks ago I think I'll save the rest for when the challenge is finished I might do like a proper update video and I will explain in more detail some of the things I've noticed from doing the challenge and some little tips that I can give you if you're looking to also do a 12 week challenge maybe when life gets back to normal and the gyms um, open again and you can use um, some tips that I give you then which I found have helped me it's more like I definitely know it's the little things that I've definitely made the biggest difference so yeah I won't go into too much detail now I'll save it for another week but um, yeah me and Stefan are both feeling very like mentally very clear and very um, driven a lot of high energy and I'm really excited to finish off um, the rest of this challenge only what three weeks to go I'm not really sure what's gonna happen after this challenge I haven't really like I've got some ideas of some things that I want to do but I'm not completely 100% set but I will let you guys know probably in week 12 what my plan is going forward maybe you want to join me yeah um so my goals this week I haven't even really thought about it I just kind of want to survive at this point just like just get through the week in one piece but I guess a goal 1,900 calories would be ideal but under 2,000 is probably more sustainable um walk more because I don't think I did any I only did I think I might have done like one weekday walk, that's it. Really try and get a run in. Try and get some more strength workouts in because I have been slacking in that. Starting to notice some um, changes. So it's really giving me motivation to keep going, which I don't like to rely on motivation, but you know, it's always handy. So I guess this will end the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the content this week. Um, you know hopefully when my life's a little bit more exciting there'll be some more content got some more content planned for the rest of my channel but yeah sorry these vlogs are basically just be me talking at the moment because I've been so busy and so tired and so hungry but yeah sorry the brain fog anyway I'll leave it there thanks for checking in guys I'll see you in week 10